Well, Drizzy Drake made a surprise return to the stage last weekend as the boy was a special surprise guest on rapper Dave's set in Toronto, Canada. Drake looked like he was having a celebration on stage, and he's got a lot to be happy about right now. So here's what we know. Drake has signed a new deal, ladies and gentlemen, with Universal Music Group for an undisclosed amount of projects and also an undisclosed amount of money. But we do have a couple of clues about how much the boy just got broke off for. So here's what happened. On a quarter one earnings call with investors, chairman and chief executive of Universal Music Group, Lucian Grange, you've heard that name before, the boogeyman of hip hop, revealed that UMG had locked in with Drake on a new deal and a source tells Variety that Drake deal is likely near $400 million. Did you hear me? Let me say that a couple more times. $400 million. $400 million of them things. This would likely include distribution over Drake's next few projects. Maybe a master split as well. Only time will tell. If you listen, though, to some of Drake's music over the last 15 months, yo, this dude is really clever, man. He's kind of been letting us know that he recently re-upped on this NBA player type of deal. If you remember back on the Lemon Pepper Freestyle, Drake said this, yeah, heart just turned purple. 360 up front, it all comes full circle. You get it because the 360 deal, but he got like 360 mil. Class photograph, Sandy had me on my Urkel. Patty Mahomes about to fall short a couple hundred. Sign seal deliver, I fucked the notary public. She witnessed me sign off on some undeniable numbers. So the boy is saying, yo, whatever I sign for, it's more than what Patty Mahomes got. And, and by the way, Patty Mahomes just got laced with a new deal last year. On the remorse, Drake said this, please don't Google my net worth. The numbers are way off. I mean, if you're comparing it to what I really made off with, I'm more like burning with all the earnings that they came off. Trust me, it was nothing light, Holmes. He went on to say, certified lover boy, I'm not the one for culling or none of that. Y'all music gets watered down when you love them back. And you know what I'm on, blowing past your own and masters. Said, you're like a father figure to me, but now daddy's not around, so I'm a bastard. Drake became a free agent after he dropped Scorpion back in 2020, which pretty much broke every streaming record in the world. You talk about having leverage going into free agency. This is like LeBron winning a championship and then leave in Miami or leave in Cleveland. All the leverage in the world Drake had. Then keep in mind, people keep getting dumped. So his catalog ages very well. People always gonna wanna listen to Drake. He's always on somebody else's record at the right time. Look at him touching Jack, Jack Harlow, uh, you know, in the last couple months, giving him a record. Lil Baby, he was early on that. Lil Dirk's been on fire since Drake did the record with him. So he's always got the ultimate leverage going into free agency. And the boy apparently cashed out. I want to read to you guys a piece of this story from Variety. Um, it is quite telling about Drizzy Drake. Since 2014, Drake has moved 37 million album project units. He's also the first artist to surpass 50 billion combined streams on just Spotify alone. To estimate... That means Drake music could easily bring in $50 million annually. That's not a stretch. So just to put it in perspective, if the boy got nearly 400 mil in his new deal, it is probably money well spent by UMG. If you look at the money that Drake, that's not including Apple Music, any other streaming platform, obviously YouTube and all the big conglomerates out there. And obviously Drake's a big deal touring. He's keeping a lot of that money. We're, pretty much what I'm trying to tell y'all is Drake is probably close to a billionaire. Shout out to him and his hard work. Look, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to get on out of here. It's really great to see Drake, who's not even 40 yet, accomplish such phenomenal feats. You know, he's doing things that it took Michael Jackson, you know, the Beatles, 30, 40 years to do, and Drake's doing that with a little under a 20-year run here. So, I mean, shout out to him. That tells you that hard work does pay off. And boy, does it pay off when you make music that will get streamed and listened to for generations upon generations. You will get rewarded on the back end, especially when you, you start talking about owning some of your masters, and your catalog and all that. Shout out to Drake. Reportedly signs a deal 
worth nearly 400 million or maybe a little more 